Dear hashed followers, in this video I show you the basics of a responsive design. First we need a client size to find out if the client is used in a landscape mode or in a portrait mode. To do this there is a functionality it's called get client info. I have prepared this small script, you find it in the video description, you see with this method I can read out the primary display width and height. So I get the needed information, what is the size of my used device. So let's take a look in the runtime. So I have loaded the functionality, so if I click on it you see my display width is 1920 and my high is 1080. So I minimize my VM, so this is now the size of my end device. And it is important um, that you, you see, if I trigger it again, I get the old information, you need to refresh the browser. If we execute the functionality again, we see now the display width is 1065 and the display high is 538. So if you check the, the window display settings, you see with the same display resolution as displayed in the Unified. And the size is what is inside of the screen frame. It's not the header of the VM, it's the content of the VM. So what can we do with this information? So we go back to the tier portal and I go to the functionality and I copy the statement because we have learned um, it's only triggered once for example by a refresh or by a loaded event of the screen. So I put it in the loaded event and I will add an if else statement uh, to distinguish between a landscape or a portrait mode. So we add in the if condition if the client display high is bigger than the width I know that my client is in portrait mode. So I add here the system functionality for a screen change. It's UI sysfunction dot change screen. And I'm browsing the correct screen. It's the start screen portrait. And this functionality need a window pass. I want to change the current window, so I add here a dot. I copy the same functionality to the else statement and I only adapt the screen which is displayed as my landscape screen and I load the runtime. You see if I refresh I'm directly in the landscape mode. So if I do my VM a little bit smaller that it looks like a portrait and a little bit bigger and if I refresh you see, okay, the screen goes to this purple, which is meaning it's the portrait mode. So I decide, depending of the mode of the client, which start screen I will display. In the next step, we want to find out what is the size of the browser. So for this, I use the functionality ui.rootwindow.with or high to get this information. You see if I click on client info, this is what we see before and if I click on the browser dimension you see it's at the same width but it is not so high because on the because this is the difference from the Windows taskbar. You see if I change the browser size I get different information about the width and the high. So if we go back to tier it's not only the width and high I can find out, it's also possible to get a zoom factor. What is the zoom level of my browser? It's in the same, it's ui.rootwindow.currentzoomfactor. Um, I add the zoom factor to my text box for the printout that I know it in runtime what is the current display zoom factor and load the runtime. So let's check. By default the zoom factor is 1. 
So if I now press control and scroll with my mouse, you see it's 0 0.8. And if I zoom in, I get 1.1, .1, which is meaning 10% zooming. If I zoom a little bit more, you see 1.3, which is meaning 30%. With this information about the zoom factor, I can add a decluttering. So we go back to the tier, to our script, add again an if else condition, and we decide is the root display zoom factor higher than 1.2, which is meaning 20%. I want to hide objects depending on the zoom level, but I don't want to hide single objects. So I use the functionality to disable layers in runtime. So screen.layers plus the layer name dot visible it's false, which is meaning all objects in layer one are disabled or set invisible by a zoom level of 20%. So I need some objects here. I add a slider and a trend control and connect and tag to it. So I make the trend a little bit bigger. It's too small for me. And we go to the layer view and I put the trend to the layer one. And let's load the runtime. And if you now are in the runtime, do refresh. Okay, both is visible. So it's possible to manipulate the trend. Zoom factor is by default one again. If I press control and my mouse wheel, and you see it's 1.2, which is meaning it's a little bit higher. So my trend control is gone. Normally you don't do this by clicking on object. You use a trigger, which is checking the zoom factor cyclic. In the last part of this video, I will show you how to find out the active screen size. The function is called ui.activescreen.with or high. But before we load the runtime, I will modify the current screen size that we have a different size to the display size. And I will load the runtime. To show you the different sizes, I click first on the active screen size. This is displayed as the red rectangle. After that on the browser size, it's the blue one. And finally on the client size, it's the green rectangle that you get a feeling of what these different functions are for. Feel free to combine these functions to build up your own responsive system. See you!